Because I don't think. Because even if you let's say hypothetically, let's say you are right with the Pelicans, right? They got a lot yeah. more questions. Even though I think the Pelicans from top to bottom actually is the most complete roster. Ooh. Um, you're pulling the two tie on us. You're gonna have them finish as the first aid. I swear, I don't think they're gonna be. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be first, but I just, I really, because I mean, side note, like when you look at the Pelicans, like it was like they were so deep. <laughs> When yeah. it came to the draft, it really did not matter who the Pelicans drafted this this past draft because they literally had everyone they needed. Like you had Zion, you had Ingram, you had uh, Balachunas, you had C.J. McCollum, you had Herbert Jones, you had Devontae Graham. Like you ha- you had Jackson Hayes that you really didn't give as much tick, but he was – whenever you put him on the floor, he was a very nice, exciting player. You know, like you had <laughs> – from top to bottom, you really had – players that complemented everyone on the team and for long term yeah to a you know extent which is where I don't necessarily believe Minnesota has that type of depth yet um but I do think they have they have high upside the only problem is I want to see it first yeah and I'm just not so because I feel like yeah I do think they're going to be competitive defensively this might be one of their best defensive teams we've seen in a very long time. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I I fear I fear what they're going to be long-term. Because I actually, how I feel like, you know how you said Golden State is going to be like, you know, an okay season team and in the playoff they're going to explode. Yeah. I actually think it's going to be the opposite for Minnesota. Yeah, I think they're going to be a really good season team, a top five season team. And then when the playoff come, they're going to fizzle out. I think about maybe second round is where you're going to really start saying, uh, uh, I, I think Minnesota either need another year of development or they need another two or three role players yeah. to really get them over. But. I, I agree with that. I honestly, as well, think the playoffs could be where they they struggle too. But like the Pelicans, they made every single Washington Wizard fan cry because they took <laughs> Dyson Daniels, bro. That was not expected. They just took Dyson Daniels, a dude that's six foot seven, can guard one through three, can ball handle and play, mate. And has shown that his shooting is improving drastically as well. And he's already getting comparisons to like a better defensive, maybe less playmaking version of what Josh Giddy was last season, you know, six foot seven, six foot eight type of guard that can really move across the floor. And who did Washington end up with? Johnny Davis. I feel bad. Mm -hmm. That guy has a porn star name. I'm going to be completely honest. Johnny Davis is a porn star name. And I don't know about that pick. Now Bradley Beal is going to play the one next season. And that is that has trouble written all over it for the Washington Wizards. I bet you 10 right now before the season starts. If Bradley Beal uh, runs the point guard, I promise you they're not making it the playoffs <laughs> at all. They're not making a play in. They're not making it at all. That's not going to work. Wow. It, Bradley – I can't believe how bad the Wizards they, – they had a very unfortunate draft. Like, they just got messed up, dude. Like, they could have – yeah, they could have had so many players and they ended up with <laughs> Johnny Davis. I don't know. It's a tough pick. Very tough pick. Pelicans fans are just sitting there smiling at their keyboards or at their computer screen right now because Dyson Daniels will be a beast for them. Does he start, though? Does Dyson Daniels start? Yeah, because I think they'll run McCollum at the one and they'll run Herbert Jones at the two, right? Yeah. And even if they don't, they probably going to have I, – I still don't think they're going to run – they're going to start him back early. But, yeah, I, I do – and, yeah, actually, yeah, CJ probably is going to be at the one because, really, uh, I think Graham might be, be on his way out. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the only position – the only position they're not – it's not locked in yet, but uh, that point guard position. But, yeah, I think, yeah, CJ McCollum, Herbert Jones for that defense and, you know, stretch. Um, or you might even be able to put Ingram there and then um, yeah. uh, Zion and, you know, et cetera, Valachunas and then whoever you want to, you know, place there. I feel like they got another power forward for some reason or another big. They might. Be- well, when they got CJ, I think Devontae Graham ended up playing like 15 minutes a game. Or something yeah. really bad. And, like, I definitely feel like he he needs to be on the out at the moment. But 
I don't know. He could always be a nice spark dude off the bench if they really wanted yeah. to. And I don't even know what team Devontae Graham should necessarily go to. I actually don't know. That would be a really, really weird one. Through the wastelands, through the-